it's Becky. Welcome back to my channel. I am starting out today's vlog, homeschool day in the life out here on my patio because I wanna share something with you in a minute. It's really creepy. Before I share that with you, just kinda let you know what I'm gonna be showing you guys today. I'm doing a fall themed homeschool day in the life. I can't do as much fall related stuff as I want to in my home, like my home decor and stuff because of all the renovations we've got going on downstairs. Um, so I'm trying to, to still keep everything else as fun and normal as I can and making things fun and Appreciating the different seasons and stuff really does I think make homeschooling a lot more fun So today I'm gonna be sharing with you guys the girls Halloween costumes. They just came in I think last week I'm Really excited to show this to you guys. We're gonna be making crock pot applesauce Which I've never done before but I think it'd be really fun And then I'm gonna also be showing you a poetry unit that I'm gonna be doing with my fifth grader it's a fall themed poetry unit. We've never done anything kind of poetry related with her and I think it's gonna be really fun in itself, but the fact that it's fall themed, I think will make it even more fun. But I'm really excited to share the costumes with you guys. This year I got their costumes from HalloweenCostumes.com. I like getting Halloween costumes online whenever possible because first of all, I just tend to like to shop online a lot more than just going into stores, but especially right now because it's annoying to have to go in and out of stores with masks and it's hot and, I also don't like in general going in Halloween stores in any years past I really don't like going in them because I think they're creepy and they give me a really weird feeling when I'm in there I don't know why I don't know if it's like the creepy music that they play or all the scary costumes I don't know what it is but I like it in their Halloween costumes online and HalloweenCostumes.com has the biggest collection of costumes I think I've ever seen whether you want something like you want to be an animal, you want to be a food, you want to be a historical character, you want something funny, you want a couple's costume, babies, toddlers, tweens, teens, and adults, they have costumes for everybody. So this year I got each girl two costumes because we have a couple events usually the week of Halloween and I thought they might like to have more than one costume to wear, um, like one for one event, one for the other. So two costumes per kid and my husband and I actually got a couple's costume too because um, one of the events that we go to the adults can dress up too and I thought that'd be really fun if we had a couple's costume so I'm gonna have the girls try on their costumes and I'll show you their costumes and then me and my husband will try on our costumes and I'll show you the ones that we picked out and if you can tell by the costume that I picked out for me and him like I'm all into the funny, cute side of Halloween. I don't like gory, creepy, scary, evil. I don't like any of that stuff. And it's the same thing for the girls. I'm like, we don't do anything evil, creepy, scary, violent, bloody, none of that stuff. It's all cute stuff. And I like that HalloweenCostumes.com has so many costumes to pick from that I think are appropriate based on that specification that I have and then also just because um, the different sizes that each girl needs and the different interests that each girl has. It's funny to go back and think year to year how their costumes have changed based on first of all what I picked for them when they were babies and then now as they've gotten older each year they pick something different. So I think that's really fun and I thought you guys might like to see it. If you are going to be needing any Halloween costumes or costumes for a play or anything like that definitely check out HalloweenCostumes.com. They have an amazing variety and their prices are really, really reasonable. So definitely check them out. That's the plan for today's day in the life, all fall related stuff going on. But I wanna share with you something creepy that happened when I came out this morning to eat breakfast. So if you hear chattering, there's like squirrels fighting in the tree. I don't know what's going on back there. Lots of noises. I came out here this morning because my youngest wanted to sleep with me last night. So when I woke up, she was still in my bed, so I had to be really quiet. My husband was asleep on the couch because he couldn't sleep with me because she was in there. So he was on the couch. So I couldn't go down to the living room to eat breakfast. My office is still empty. Homeschool room is still empty from the renovations that are taking forever. And I had nowhere to go to eat breakfast. So I thought, oh, it's nice out this morning. I'll go outside and have a nice breakfast out in the patio by myself, you know, in the morning with the birds. And we have this like mesh thing around our patio table and it goes over the umbrella and I love it and I highly recommend them. However, every now and again, things do somehow manage to get inside. But I went in there and I like shook the mesh because we haven't eaten out here in a few weeks. I puffed up the chair cushions and like make sure there's no spiders or anything and I felt pretty good that I was like alone out here for breakfast. So I sat down with my bowl of cereal and I looked up is this little guy. He wanted to have breakfast with me apparently. So I don't know how he got in here because this thing goes all the way to the ground and it zips up. 
but somehow he managed to get in there and I think praying mantises are amazing but they are also disgusting and creepy watch he's looking at you right now like he's judging you right now you're being judged but anyway we're gonna have to get him out I don't want him to die even though he's gross and creepy uh, the girls wanted to catch him and I said no because we've had praying mantises that we've brought in the house before in bug catcher things and you have to feed them and I think that's sad. I don't want to be part of the food chain. Like I, they can eat whatever they want out here and that's fine, but I don't want to be the one feeding them other bugs because who am I to say your life is worth more than your life. So here, I'm going to feed you to the praying mantis. So he's going to stay outside, but we are going to get him out of there when I say we, I mean my husband. But I thought it'd be really fun. I wanted to do a fall decor video for you guys, but given all of the renovations that are still going on in the house, I can't do that right now um, because the contents of my homeschool room and office are all over the living room and I just really don't want to overwhelm myself even more by adding fall decorations to the house and getting stuff out of the attic. So unfortunately, it's looking like we're not even gonna decorate for fall, at least not everything. So we'll see how that goes. We did buy some mums. We will get some pumpkins. The girls really like to get their own pumpkin to carve each, you know, each have their own pumpkin. So we'll do stuff like that. But as far as like getting out a bunch of stuff, I'm not about to overwhelm myself by doing that. But since I can do the fall decor video, I thought it'd be really fun to do a kind of homeschool day in the life fall style. Some things that we're doing for fall that are part of our homeschool. That is what I'm going to share with you guys today. I'm really super excited to show you all that stuff. I think it's going to be really fun and it's the best I can do to keep things fun and entertaining and keep the girls like active and involved and having a good time even though the world isn't really what I want it to be right now and even though my house isn't really what I, what I want it to be right now with all the renovations and the mess that's going on. I try my best to still make things fun and keep things as normal as possible. So that's what I'm gonna be sharing with you guys today. If you want to see that after this very long intro, then stay tuned. Now it is time to start our homemade crock pot applesauce. I've never made crock pot applesauce before and I had my youngest daughter helping me. The original recipe called for three pounds of apples, but I just did a three person serving, which was about one and a half pounds of apples, we ended up using five apples. And the recipe also calls for a quarter cup of sugar, a quarter teaspoon of ground cinnamon, and then it said a quarter cup of water. I think I ended up adding a little bit closer to a cup just because it was gonna be cooking on high for four hours and I wanted to make sure that it didn't get dry or anything. So if I do it again, I will definitely make more, but I will also put a little bit less sugar because even though I know applesauce that you buy at the store has sugar. When you see how much sugar you're putting in for just five apples, it's kind of alarming and probably not the best thing in the world. It was super delicious, but definitely not the healthiest choice. So I will link the recipe for you in the description box. And what I like about this recipe in particular is you can play around with the servings and it will tell you how many apples and how much sugar and how much cinnamon to use based on how many pounds of apples you're using. So five apples for us definitely was at most maybe for four people and not really any for leftovers so definitely if you have um, three or four people in your family or you're going to want leftovers or you're going to want to freeze some then i would recommend uh, definitely using more than just five apples on high for four hours and let it do its thing and we went back to it later on but um, it made the house smell so good so the girls wanted to model their Halloween costumes. My youngest is going to be a Mad Hatter with the first costume and a snail with the second. We just need to get some more filling because her shell was not nearly as full as it needs to be. And then my oldest daughter also picked a Mad Hatter costume, totally different, and then also a pirate costume. So we love both of those for them. They're really, really cute. And then my husband and I, because I am very silly when it comes to Halloween costumes and I like all the fun little things. We are milk and a cookie because, you know, if you can't eat it all the time, you can at least dress up like that. This is the fall poetry unit I was telling you guys about. I think there's seven different poems, so I'm starting it now. We're actually going to start it today and do one per week leading up to Thanksgiving. So I ordered them from early fall ending up with the week of Thanksgiving. So, um, and that'll give us time to do that one before our Thanksgiving break. There's all different types of poems. This one just happens to be from Robert Frost. And then on the back, you have a poetry reflection. So what is the poem's meaning or message? What's the theme of the poem? Who is narrating the poem? 
how many lines are in the poem and how many stanzas and how does the poem make you feel? So today we're reading a poem by Robert Frost, Nothing Gold Can Stay. So while I read it, you can color the picture and then when you get done, you're gonna draw what the poem sounds like. Like when I'm reading it to you, what do you think of? Okay. Nature's first gold is green, her hardest hue to hold. Her early leaves a flower, but only so for an hour. Then the leaf subsides to leaf, so Eden sank to grief. So dawn goes down today, nothing gold can stay. Okay, so four hours have passed and the apples are nice and soft. I, the original, the original recipe said to just mix them with a whisk, but I actually have like a little personal blender and I thought it'd be perfect to put it in there because that was one concern that I had and my oldest daughter also said, she was like, it's going to be so chunky. And I was like, no, it won't. We'll put it in this little blender and mix it up. And it got so smooth and you guys, it was so delicious when it was warm. I don't know that I've ever had warm applesauce. If I have, I've forgotten, but it was really, really good. And then we had a teeny bit left over for the next day and it was just as good cold, but it made the house smell so good. It's a perfect thing to do in the fall. You know, whether you buy your apples at the grocery store or you go to an apple orchard and pick them yourself, I just think it's really fun and it's really simple. And for somebody like me who really hates to cook, I think it was a fun thing for us to do together and they really enjoyed it. So I just mix it up in the blender and as you can see, it came out really, really smoothly, just like it does from the store and it was really good. So I hope you enjoyed spending some time with us today and seeing what we're doing in our homeschool for fall just to kind of make it fun and festive around here. I really enjoy that aspect of homeschooling. I enjoy lots of aspects of homeschooling, but I really enjoy holidays and seasons and adding that into our homeschool. I think it makes it a lot more fun and I hope it encourages you guys to think of some things you can do if you want to do what we did or if you want to do some other things just to get your kids and your home all ready and excited for fall. I think it's a really fun thing to do. Also make sure if you are looking for Halloween costumes that you check out HalloweenCostumes.com. Tons of things on there. I know you guys will love them and hopefully we'll all be able to get out and do some fun things for Halloween this year. I don't know yet how it's going to turn out but I hope for all of us that by then we will be able to do some more things that we would normally do in a normal year. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. Make sure if you did, you give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to check out my homeschooling playlist. I have it linked for you in the description box. Every homeschooling video I've made is in that playlist. So there are tons of them about curriculum and my homeschool room tour, even though I will have a new one up for you eventually once we get this room finished, um, homeschool reviews and other day in the life videos. So make sure you check it out. It is linked for you in the description box. If you like this one, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe before you head out and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.